First three-pointer of the game won't go. That was Jarrett Culver, who's been around the block, still just 25 years old. G.G. Jackson from way downtown. <laughs> and interviewed by Shaq and just went and took straight all from the standpoint that he was talking to Shaquille O'Neal as he's able to get the friendly bounce, knocking down his second three. Of course, Marcus Smart being in the fold where they didn't have him two seasons ago where they were the two seed in the West. Jackson with the left, he finished, plus the foul. But we will know one guy that they're going to be looking for more minutes for, and that's this guy right here, G.G. Jackson. G.G. reclassed up. He should have been in this year's draft instead of being a wildly veteran right now of the Summer League where you can see the vet move going to the Euro, same foot, same hand. Left. Taylor, we appreciate you joining us, joining us over here, my man. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy the rest of the Summer League. And by the way, folks, Taylor Jenkins has some serious TV chops already because you see Jet getting some playing time for the big club this I year? I do. I do. I really do. His ability to shoot the basketball. And again, it's different when you're a rookie. G.G. Jackson, of course, crashing the board. Had a great rookie season, but Jet's ability to shoot the basketball and, and just take away a little bit of that pressure from Paolo Bancaro, from Fonz Rock. Those guys and open up the floor for them to be able to get to the basket, especially with Paolo. And Paolo, we, we talked a lot about their roster makeup and how excited he is for what the Magic have. And not only their young players, but also bringing in KCP, the veteran who you can't hurt your wrist when you do that. No. Safety first. That's why Melo did it. Don't want to shoot, hurt that shooting hand. G.G. Jackson in a crowd. Doesn't matter. Lefty finish. 22 points for G.G. Jackson. That ends a 13-0 run. And her watching Jet. Now, that's her baby. We, we know about his baby. You look at him, of course, as a player having been through that. But how is Janine now having the opportunity to watch her son? Well, I mean, she's a proud mom. 